Hello everyone, this video is going to show you how to bypass your cliff sensors on your robot vac. Uh, the situation is, is where you have a rug that has a black border or it is a black rug or in some cases a dark rug. The vacuum won't go over it thinking it's either a ledge or the stairs or something to that effect. So it won't clean that area. So. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and tell Alexa to begin uh, vacuuming. And as we're waiting for the vacuum to uh, turn on and start vacuuming, uh, I just want to express to you that the RoboRock E4 is an excellent vacuum cleaner. Uh, as you can see, it's compatible with Alexa, and it's also compatible with uh, Google as well. Um, you're going to see here that it's going to reach the border and back away, okay? It should have actually gone over that rug, uh, but unfortunately, because it has a black border, uh, the cliff sensors think it's reaching a ledge, so it avoids from going further, and that way it doesn't tumble down the stairs or off the ledge. That's the purpose of that, okay? Well, we're going to go ahead and bypass those sensors by placing some uh, cardboard over it and so on. I'm going to walk you through. Uh, there's another thing I want to mention as far as the RoboRock is concerned. Uh, this is one of the few budget vacuum cleaners that actually has mapping. That's what it's actually doing right now. Uh, it's got a mapping sensor underneath and what it does, it actually maps your rooms in, within your home. Uh, it's not like your LiDAR uh, uh, robots, which are a lot more expensive. Uh, you're talking about robots that are anywhere from $499 on up. Uh, this one here was actually on sale for $219. And that is rare, especially the fact that it does uh, map your home. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and tell uh, Alexa to uh, redock uh, the vacuum cleaner so we can go ahead and move on to the <clears throat> actual process of uh, modifying the sensors. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and do that. And here you see it's actually uh, looking for the base. So it does a 360 degree uh, uh, rotation so it can actually sense where that sensor is. It will make whatever adjustments necessary so it can line itself up properly. Uh, and as you can see, I've got it close to a, uh, a stand there, a little cabinet there. They tell you to put it uh, at least three feet from each side. It's really not necessary. It works well and it docks and uh, I haven't had any issues with it whatsoever. But I will recommend this vacuum cleaner. I've had the shock and I also have had uh, tested other ra uh, robo vacuums that I had to send back and by far this is the best one so far. Okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna bypass the cliff sensors on this RoboRock E4. Excellent vacuum as I mentioned earlier. Uh, the problem is is that it won't go over the carpeting as you saw in the video. Uh, it now Keep in mind, and I'll mention it again, that I live in a single level home, so I don't have any stairs or edges that it can go off a balcony or anything to that effect. If you do, I don't recommend modifying the sensors or, or bypassing the sensors like I'm about to show you. So before we begin, you're going to need some materials. The first material that you're gonna need is the core of a paper towel roll. Okay, now you have to make sure that that core is white, not gray. Okay, some of them come in gray. So basically, you're going to take this cardboard uh, roll here, and you're going to cut it in half, and you're going to open it up. As you can see, it's totally white in here. You want to use this side, not the side with the lips, okay, uh, the overlap, I should say. Okay, you want to use the inside. As you can see, there's some cutouts. So... You're gonna need that, and you're also gonna need a pair of scissors, a pen, and tape. Now the tape that I recommend is the Gorilla Tape. Okay, the reason I recommend this tape, because it's heavy duty, and you won't have to repeat this process again. If you use any other tape, masking tape, scotch tape, it doesn't stick as long, it'll wind up wearing off, and you've gotta repeat the process again. 
So to begin, the first thing you wanna do is turn off your robo vent. Turning off. Okay, once it's off, you're gonna flip it. Now keep in mind, you've got this little lid here. So you wanna go ahead and hold on to that lid. And you're gonna go and lay it on its, uh, the top of the vat. And now, one thing I want you to be aware of is this bumper. Now, since it's laying down, you'll notice it's really not going in and out. But if I lift it, see how it, it actually flexes, okay? That is when it bumps into a piece of furniture or anything to that effect, it'll change direction, okay? So you wanna make sure when you lay out the tape that you don't tape that bumper because it won't work. It'll, it'll prevent it from actually activating the sensors. And as you can see here, what I did is I put this here as an example. This is what you're actually gonna cut out. You're gonna cut out a piece of cardboard like so, that's larger obviously than the sensor itself. And you're gonna place that above it. And that's where you're gonna grab your pen. Now notice the tip is not out, the tip is inserted. So you're gonna grab that, that pen and basically, you're gonna create, you're gonna go in there and you're gonna shape it. You dig into it, like so, okay? See that indentation? And that's what you're gonna cut around. Now you're gonna give it a little bit of an excess on top, okay? And the reason why, I'll show you in a second. So this is the cutout. Doesn't have to be perfect, it's just enough to cover the sensors right in here, okay? So you, you, this is the cutout. So when you insert it, or place it, I should say, place it like so, and you wanna overlap it a little bit in right behind that sensor a little bit, okay? You can dig in with your nail and it'll hold it in place. Because if not, what's gonna happen, it's gonna slide and it's gonna go behind this bumper here. So you wanna avoid that. So what I did is I pre-cut a piece of tape and I placed that tape directly on top of it. And again, like I said, you wanna make sure you don't tape the bumper. If you got a little excess tape, you, you uh, put your nail in there and just wrap it around the frame, okay? or you can cut it exactly whichever way it works for you. But the, the, the important part is that the bumper continues to be able to move, okay? Let's check that bumper. It's working, okay? All right, good enough. Okay, all right. So that's basically it. And you do that for every sensor. It has a total of four sensors. One, two, three, and four. Okay? Flip it over. Let's turn it on. Okay. And let's test it out. Let's go ahead and test it and see if it actually will go over my rug this time around. Now that we've modified the sensors by placing white pieces of cardboard, or you can also use printer bright white paper on there as well, if you don't have a paper towel roll that's white, okay? So let's go ahead and begin. Alexa, turn on vacuum. As you can see, it powers up. And by the way, this vacuum cleaner has multiple suction levels. As you can hear, it changes when it goes over the carpet. Voila, look at that. Isn't that something? It actually went over the carpet this time around. So when it goes over a carpet, it automatically increases its suction. That's another feature that I love about this vac. So when it goes on my tile floor, it'll lower its suction power. On a rug, it'll increase the suction power. So I'm gonna go ahead and send it back home. Alexa, turn off the vacuum. 
So at this point, it's going to go back to the dock. Like I said earlier, I've gone through several uh, robo vacuums. I've tried several products, and I will tell you, by far, this is the best. Uh, just the fact that its suction power is amazing. Uh, it's a lot stronger than uh, the other vacuum cleaners. And now keep in mind, this is a budget vacuum. Uh, so in the budget class, it's one of the top ones out there. In fact, I would say it is the top one out there because you get uh, mapping with this vacuum as well which your other budget vacuum cleaners just basically bounce all over the place. All right, I hope that uh, you enjoyed this video and I hope it actually resolves the issue if you do have this issue going on. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and uh, hit the thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much and have a great evening.